Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how I made this newborn fox beanie using a 40 pin knitting machine. I designed it so it can be worn with the brim folded up like this when the baby is small. And then as they get older, you can fold the brim down and they can wear it for a little bit longer. Um, it has a little faux brim on it so that when it's worn like this, it still kind of has that same effect. And then you just fold it up when they're small. It's pretty cute. So let's get into the tutorial. Okay, we're going to start with a knit tube. Um, you're going to cast on with the liner color, which is also going to be the brim, and you're going to do 50 rounds of the liner slash brim color. Then you're going to do 30 rounds of the main color for a total of 80 rounds for a newborn beanie. When I cast on, I just cast on with my liner yarn. I don't use waist yarn, but I do use waist yarn for the casting off because you'll need it for that finishing technique. I'm just going to cinch this end closed so I don't find that I need waist yarn for that. But I do so that I can finish this. Okay, so the next thing we're going to want to do is um, fix our seam here where we joined our two colors. You'll see that they kind of jog over, so I inside it out. And then I'm going to try to line up these like purled stitches. See how they kind of jog over slightly? And I find the best way to do that is just pull in um, with the tail yarn two stitches. So one, and then there was two. We're going to do that here. One stitch gets pulled in, and then there's the second one. I'm going to pull that in as well. I find that that helps line it up so you can see it already kind of looks more lined up. And then when you inside it out, you can see that it kind of gives you a more seamless join. So after you've done that, you're gonna to wanna to tie loosely into um, two knots. I usually do two loose knots, and then I'll do two more knots and I just get kind of tighter as it goes. So this third knot's a little bit tighter, and then the fourth knot I tie real tight without breaking the yarn. Then trim your yarn, and I usually trim and leave about a half an inch or so because I feel like when the material is sandwiched together, it kind of holds those tails in place, and I don't know, I feel like it keeps it so that if the knot comes out, you have some way to repair it if necessary. Okay, let's find our tails here from our waist yarn and our main color yarn. And then you're going to tuck in the waist yarn and again we're still working on the wrong side of the work. We're going to insert into one loop and then the loop directly across from it and pull it through. Um, then we're going to kind of pull our working yarn just slightly so that we kind of make sure that we have a tightened loop there. Then you're going to insert your hook into the loop closest to you and go directly across and then you're going to pull that loop through. You'll have two loops on your hook then you're going to yarn over and complete some kind of like a single crochet. So then we're going to go into the loop closest to us, find the loop directly across from it, and then you're going to hopefully get on your hook there, pull it through, and then you're going to yarn over and complete like a single crochet. And we're going to do that all the way across. Make sure you keep tight, tightish tension and not too tight. But you don't want your loops getting too loose when you do this. So grab that loop, pull it through, yarn over, and finish a tight, kind of like a single crochet, sort of. So you're just kind of making it a little bit differently. And we're gonna do that all the way till we get to the last um, two loops. Okay, so I'm getting towards the intro, so I'm gonna just show you a few more of these um, stitches. And you'll know when you get to the end, you should have four stitches left. Um, the second to last uh, two stitches here, you're going to work just like you've done the other ones. You're going to grab from across, pull it through, and do that kind of single crochet action. And then on the last two, they're a little trickier to get in because they're going to be kind of tight, but you're going to insert into both of them there, and you're going to kind of slip stitch to join them all together. I don't really know the best way to describe that, but you just kind of pull your yarn through. Then we're going to cut our yarn tail and we want to leave kind of a longish tail. And as you can see, I do have a lot of yarn, but you're going to use this um, later when you stitch the ears. So we're going to pull this yarn through. Okay, so we're going to take our tail yarn and grab a darning needle. We're going to go ahead and thread that on. We're going to fold the work in half here just so we can kind of find where the midpoint is and we're going to stitch along this kind of edge just on one of the edges just so that we can get our yarn back to the middle. Okay, 
So now when you get back to the middle, you're going to want to kind of tie a, a knot here and you just want to make sure you're not disturbing the stitches along the row. So if you tie a knot, um, this makes it easier to not mess those stitches up. Okay, so now it's time to pull off your waist yarn. Okay, so now we're going to um, pull it up, so the, the cast on edge, so that the right sides are showing. And we're just going to cinch close, just like you would normally do for a cinch beanie. Okay, so we're just going to kind of cinch that tight, and then we're going to tie the out liner yarn to the inside yarn, just to make sure that they are kind of attached to each other in some way. And I just tie that with a few knots. Okay, and then I'm gonna thread my yarn onto my darning needle and just stitch around a few times. I like to leave long tails because I feel like it's that safety feature if any of my knots come out for some reason. There's a little bit of a tail um, so that if it needs to be repaired, it can. And so I'm gonna do that with the liner yarn as well and just stitch around and then tie them off and then I'll hide my knots in between the two layers. You're gonna pull so the right side's showing and just kind of shape your ears a little bit. And that's the seam. Looks pretty good. I'm not gonna toot my own horn too much, but I think that's a pretty perfect seam. So that's been said. Now let's stitch our ears together. Okay, so you want to flatten it out, and the inside, you know, the hat is kind of curved. So you'll kind of be able to feel where um, the curve of the inside liner beanie is. And you just kind of shape your ears around it. And I like to use stitch markers. I put them in to kind of hold it in place where I've decided that my um, little stitches that kind of hold the ears and keep the ears together should go. So I'm just place these really quick. And when I place them, I make sure I go through that inside liner we do want to stitch um, our little X's into the ears uh, and go through that liner. It kind of holds everything in place. So remember that tail yarn that I was telling you about that was really long? Now we're going to use it. Let's thread it onto a darning needle and we're going to stitch little X's in the, the corners. So I like to go from the inside and I come out right where that stitch marker is. I'm going to remove my stitch marker. Okay, and now we're just going to stitch like an X. So I like to go kind of over one stitch, come out the back, and you want to make sure you come out in between a stitch. And then we're going to insert over that middle bar. This way we can kind of hide our stitches and it makes it so that the back side of the ears look pretty good. So we're just going over the bar and going to go back through the front. And then you want to kind of poke your needle out through another stitch I'm going to come out and we're just going to stitch over just kind of creating a little X pattern. And then again going through and coming out in between a stitch and then we're going to stitch over the bar. And this time when we stitch back over, we're going to go over the bar. So we're going to go down here and come out through the inside of the beanie. And again when you do that, you want to make sure that you're kind of coming out into the middle of a stitch. And then I like to bring my yarn back to where my um, yarn was originally inserted and then I'm going to tie it in a knot, tie it in a knot a few times and then after you do that you can trim your yarn and then you can pull the layers apart and it's going to hide that stitch in between the two layers. And then we're going to repeat that same thing on the other side. Finish 
side is showing. And I just wanted to show you the back side of the ears. You can see by stitching over those bars, it, gives, um, it hides the stitches. So now I'm going to show you guys how I attach a little suede tag. It's a little fox tag that I made. I placed the little fox face on the side that has the faux brim. And then on the other side where it says sly, it'll be showing when the brim is folded up. I use a binder clip to hold the tag in place while I'm stitching it. But I like to kind of stretch my stitches a little bit and place it right over like a single column of knit stitches. So I'm going to place it right over there and then I'll just stitch around that. Okay, I am using a cotton thread to sew on my tags. I usually do sew on patches and tags using a, um, like a thinner mercerized like cotton or any kind of cotton thread. I like it better than using yarn. And when I stitch it, I'm going to hide my knot uh, underneath the knitted work, kind of like in the middle of the tag. So I'm coming out kind of in between one of the stitches that's underneath the tag and then I'm going to bring my yarn tail back around and do the same thing and then I'll tie my knots, trim my yarn from my string and hide the knot behind the tag. So that's how I made this little beanie and to finish off the beanies I usually like to add a care tag. I designed this care tag to go with these little fox beanies. It allows me to add, you know, care details and the fiber content and it's business card size so I just tape the care tag onto the back side of my business card and I attach it to the hat using one of these bulb safety pins and then I wrap it up and it's ready to give as a gift or so. And this is another version of it using a different color um, yarn for the brim and calling this one the uh, red fox beanie and this one is the gray fox beanie. Thanks for watching the video. I hope you are able to follow the tutorial and make a few of these beanies yourself. And please be sure to visit my blog post where I have more information and details on this little pattern.